What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm back at the farm and I'm back working on this 2021 Denali since I pretty much got the shop wrapped up so I can start working on these projects again since it's been a couple weeks since I actually even touched this thing. So pretty much just got to finish welding on that roof skin and glue it down there and do a little body work to that one uni side and then it's pretty much ready to just get prepped for paint there. And I also got some other projects I need to work on too. This is a 71 C10 which I've made some videos on in the past but haven't worked on this for quite a while so it'd be nice to get this one finished up too. And I also want to pull my uh, tire machine out here and uh, move it to my shop too. So that'd be awesome. But anyways, I'm going to pull the doors off this thing and uh, move it over to the shop and get that uh, roof skin welded on there. So the cab in the shop here and I just went ahead and actually pulled out the carpet and uh, everything and then went and covered this with a couple layers of this fire blanket here just to protect the dash there and uh, got everything pretty much cleaned up so got this whole ground down with like 60 grit there so it can stick real good and uh, got everything else around here cleaned up pretty good and uh, see with the top so I'm just going to test fit it one more time make sure everything fits up real nice and then I can pretty much go ahead and uh, put some glue down and weld this sucker back on here so gonna test fit it here and uh, then we can get maybe to get the welding glue in together. Alrighty, so I got it all test fit up here and everything fits really nice. I got the rest of that cleaned up and uh, just went and did a little bit of wax and grease remover over everything where I'm gonna put the glue and same with up on the roof here. So on all the, pretty much just on these beams, right? So there's just a little bit of a panel bond on these beams here. And then on these ones, it actually, all it is is actually, it's just a foam. All right, so the roof skin glued in place here and I just put a few clamps on it for tonight and then tomorrow I'm gonna to come back and I'll uh, weld up all the spot welds on here, but this foam stuff hardened up so fast and it's uh, pretty cool stuff. So, but anyways, it's looking pretty good and uh, should be great in place and ready to uh, pretty much just weld all these spot welds up tomorrow and then I can pretty much get this thing all prepped for paint. So just gotta do a little bit on this uni side here. Uh, it's pretty close, but just a little bit of work and then we can hopefully get this thing all painted up. So uh, I will let the strap for tonight and I'll catch you tomorrow. So yesterday I actually drove to the farm and I forgot my girlfriend's key in my pocket so I had to drive all the way back to the house so didn't get any work done on the cab but I was working on this uh, the frame for the Denali here so I got a new clutch fan and a pulley and a bunch of other stuff for it here so and I also installed a brand new uh, steering gear box here because the other one I don't know why, but it just had some play in it. I, I don't know where it's at. Here, it's on the, I'll go look at it in a second. It's on the bench, but I also have some new cool, er, cooling pipes here, a uh, new fan. So I just changed out this pulley. It was actually probably okay, but I just didn't want to have any issues with it. I had to pull it back apart again and uh, also changed this uh, EGR pipe. And I got a brand new fan and uh, also some new suspension. So I'm going to actually show a clip here of like, it's probably a couple weeks ago before we had the tin done of uh, installing all the suspension on this truck. And then I'm gonna head back right now to the farm and finish welding up that cab finally and uh, get a prep for paint here. So we'll show that clip here quick and then I'll catch you at the farm.
welded up here and that's looking pretty good so i just need to do a little bit of body filler in these three little spots here and there's i think there's one little thing on the other side but pretty much everything else i'm just gonna actually not even paint this i'm just gonna clear coat it and uh, blend it and then just blend this to about here ish and then this can just be repainted it actually gets covered up so just gonna have seam sealer and then i think this uni side on here is all good except for it does have a few little scratches i thought but maybe Actually, there's just one little ding right here I need to fix. And then there's one little ding uh, just on top here somewhere. I can't remember where exactly it was that. Maybe it's around there somewhere. But but this one, I'm just going to clear coat the whole entire unit side. And then I'm going to paint these fenders on uh, just like this. And all this, so this structure all in one piece here. And I'll probably stick on the hood and uh, just quick to check it, make sure everything looks good. And just align these fenders side to side. And then I still need to do... Uh, cut the holes for the cab lights there. So I have a template off the old uh, roof skin So I'll just put that up there drill them and uh, just cut them out quick and then I'm pretty much pretty ready for paint. So I just want to get this um, Get a little bit of filler in these three spots here and that one little ding and then I can sand this out and I can put this uh, high build primer on it tonight and then tomorrow I can come out in the morning or it'll be dry in the morning and then uh, just come back and I can sand this out and get this sucker ready for paint. So I should be able to paint it tomorrow, I'm hoping. And then I'm also thinking, I kind of want to do the roof black and put some metallic, I have these metallic flakes. I was thinking of maybe I could throw them in the clear coat. It would look pretty sharp, I think. So with the cap, black cab lights, with a black top and then silver, I think it'll be, look pretty sharp. So, but anyways, let's get this stuff knocked out and uh, get it prep for paint. And I also cut the holes for the cab lights up here so that's all good to go and they're all nice and cleaned up so pretty much just start massing this thing off gotta do a light scuff over everything once you got it all masked off here and then we can start uh, putting a little bit of sealer I'm only gonna seal probably till about here and here and the roof obviously but this, that, that way I can uh, blend all the rest of the paint and then clear coat the whole entire cab and the fenders and everything right so but I just got a mask off all these wires and all this stuff on the front here so uh, Take a little bit, but we'll get doing that and uh, get some sealer on it. pretty much prepped and all wax and grease so I've just got to finish off a little bit of masking here but I went and also did the seam sealer so I did a two-part seam sealer first on all the edges and then I did a just one of them tube uh, seam sealers over really really thin over top of all the spot walls and everything so it's all sealed up real nice real nice and I'm just gonna actually let that sit overnight here but uh, I'm thinking of doing a black roof on this cab and the rest of it's obviously silver so uh, let me know if you think that'll look good. Probably just a black with some metallic in it. Should look pretty nice. And uh, then I had to do like the back cap too. There's like a cap that goes in the back here and the one antenna. And then the cab lights will actually, yeah, they're black too. So I think it'll look pretty sweet. And then I'll probably tint the whole entire front windshield and tint the side windows like 50%. So it just has a nice smoke and it'll look pretty nice, I think so. But anyways, I'm gonna call out a wrap for this video. And the next video we'll get painting right away and uh, get this thing all painted up. And uh, that should be moving right along on this thing. So 
But anyways, thanks for watching and uh, tune in for the next one. Let me know if you want to paint that roof black. Peace.